SCP-1441 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures, SCP-1441 and SCP-1441-01 are stored separately in combination locked lead-lined cases, and are to be kept in a secure containment facility when not in use. As of Addendum 02, access is restricted to personnel involved in the X testing program. SCP-1441 is currently stored in storage locker number 523 at Sector 17, along with one spare specimen of SCP-1441-01 and two spare rolls of perforated paper towels of any brand. Staff are reminded to replace rolls after full use for the convenience of others. TTT, description. SCP-1441 is an automatic paper towel dispenser. It is physically similar to dispensers of the brand Towelmatic, with two exceptions, i, it instead has the brand name Convenitol, 2, where other Towelmatics have a compartment suited for 4D size batteries, SCP-1441 instead contains a non-standard power cell, designated SCP-1441-01. SCP-1441-01 is a 50x 50x 50mm, 125 cubic centimeters, rounded cube, with a mass of 500 grams. It largely consists of an alloy of iron and palladium. One face bears metal contacts, and has been designated as the bottom side. A small lid on the top opens up to reveal a chamber full of water, the sides show branding, referring to the object as Phaeton Power Cell and to the makers as Ingenitech. Investigation revealed Ingenitech to be a software development company based in Cincinnati, O. Oh, staff there showed no recognition of SCP-1441-01, and no files relating to Phaeton or power cells were discovered, suggesting that the name is a coincidence. Similarly, Convenitol has never been registered as a trademark. Preliminary analysis of SCP-1441-01 suggests that the power cell operates on anomalous technology, further details will be listed below when results emerge, Addendum 01, further analysis of SCP-1441-01 show that its power generation operates by small-scale cold fusion, requiring only the addition of water. While advanced, none of the processes involved are inherently anomalous. Suggesting attempt at replication of technology, Addendum 02, a replica of SCP-1441-01 was constructed and tested in SCP-1441, SCP-1441 operated as normal. SCP-1441 has been nominated to the X testing program for confirmation of the process and eventual dissemination of the technology, Addendum 03 as the team has now suffered 17 successive failures to replicate the battery interface outside of SCP-1441, X testing has been suspended, and further analysis and experimentation has been opened to discover any possible anomalous reason behind these events, Addendum 04, a non-anomalous towelmatic paper towel dispenser has successfully been fitted with a replica of the battery interface in SCP-1441 and operated normally with both the original SCP-1441-01 and a replica, Addendum 05, replicas of SCP-1441-01 have been tested as power sources for various appliances and devices, with the results shown below, experiment no, item tested, result, number 1, towelmatic paper towel dispenser, success, number 2, blu-ray player, failure, number 3, printer, Failure, number 4, washing machine. Failure, number 5, Mavuk Air, failure, number 6, Zoom MP3 player, failure, number 7, a single 60 watt light bulb, failure, number 8, a motor, failure, number 9, a motor rig to revolve paper towels, success, number 10, a motor rig to revolve paper towels and power a 60 watt light bulb. Failure. Number 11. A printer rigged solely to dispense paper towels. Success. Number 12. Hand dryer. Failure. Number 13. Towelmatic. Paper towel dispenser rigged to also play MP3S failure. At this point it is very difficult to avoid the following conclusion, that SCP-1441-01 will only operate in devices with the sole or primary function of dispensing paper towels. 
As such, I recommend SCP-1441 be withdrawn from the X program, and that its secure containment procedures be revised in accordance with the new information on its threat. I am ceasing experimentation on SCP-1441. Doctor.